What's up my wild ones? Welcome back to a new video. I've really never been this excited because there's a whole family here into snakes and into snake keeping and it's just so wonderful. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Taryn. I'm an ecologist and herpetologist and I am crazy about reptiles. So I love making reptile related content like this. So if that's something you're interested in, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell. So today I am at David's place. Well, actually it's his mom's place. Hello, David. Hello. What's your name? Can you introduce yourself? What's your name? By the way, too. Noah. This is Noah. So this is a very interesting situation because David has probably the most impressive collection in the Netherlands. At least some of the most impressive species that I've ever seen and it's just crazy here. I love it. So I'm so, so happy. Thank you so much for having me here You're today. <laughs> so what's pretty cool is that all the snakes here are kept in his mother's house and his mother is 68. Yes, she is. Yeah, and I was just walking in and she was just checking like on one of like a highly venomous snake that is gravid, pregnant almost, you know, ready to pop and she was just watering some snakes and I was like, wow. Okay, okay. That's okay. You didn't call me, I knew snapping it. That would I need. And it gives you eight all that So we've got a grandmother, we've got a son, and we've got a grandchild who are all crazy about snakes. So I think that's so cool. So in today's video, I want to introduce you to a um, very, very beautiful snake that I have never come, uh, uh, come across before. It's a Baron Green Racer. But before that, I want to ask some questions to these people right here. So David, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Yeah, I'm David, I'm 37 years old. Um, I keep venomous snakes now for almost 15 years. I've been in the hobby for over 20 years. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, my, my biggest passion in life, so. Yeah, I think that's so cool. And one of the things that stands out to me here is that you have such a wide variety of snakes. Like there is things from like a boa constrictor to like a saw skilled viper to like mambas um, to a cobra. So there's such a wide variety here. Is that like, is that done specifically? Do you have like a wide interest or? Yeah, my interest uh, is very big in general about um, um, reptiles. But um, in the past, I um, I specialized myself to uh, to puff adders and uh, the genus of beetles. But yeah, there was something missing. I just love the the fiery of of the snakes, and um, I just uh, keep whatever I uh, I like or um, yeah, well uh, intrigued by. And also one of the things that's pretty cool is that he breeds snakes like a crazy person. Whenever I see something on Facebook, it's like super cute baby snakes. And yeah, you, you know, I think baby snakes are the cutest animals on the planet. So can you tell me a little bit like what were the highlights of your, of your breeding? The highlight of my breedings, are, yeah, last year the, the mambas, that was a very special, special thing for me. Uh-huh. And... Um, but I, yeah, I like all, all kind of even the easy uh, snakes. Uh, yeah, it's it's a, it gives me a lot of satisfaction to to breed with them. I just love to to get baby snakes, and uh, yeah, that's my my biggest goal to to have snakes and to be able to breed with them. Uh, yeah, that's my biggest satisfaction uh, out of the hobby. Yeah, I can imagine that's so cool. And I'm gonna go and switch over to Dutch we've got, because we've got a little lady right here who I would like to ask some questions to. So, as she said, this is Noah. Noah, jouw papa die heeft dus super veel slangen. En heb je dat altijd al leuk gevonden? Of vond je het in het begin misschien een beetje eng? Nou, ik had dat altijd leuk gevonden. Wat cool. En je hebt dus zelfs uh, je eigen rattenslang? Ja. En kan je daar iets over vertellen? Uh, Wat nou, eet hij bijvoorbeeld? Muizen. Muizen. Voel je die zelf soms? Ja. Wat cool. En ik, um, en ik hou hem ook wel vast en zo. Oké, okay, en ik hoorde ook dat jij zelfs een spreekbeurt hebt gegeven over slangen. Ja. En hoe was dat om te doen? Leuk, maar ik vond het wel een beetje spannend. Die is ook spannend. Ja, maar mensen zijn ook wel een beetje enger dan slangen toch? Ja. <laughs> ja, vind ik ook. En weet je al wat je later wil worden? Denk je dat je iets met slangen wil gaan doen? Mm, ik denk dat ik wel iets met slangen wil worden. Oké, 
ik wil later dierenarts worden. Dierenarts, wat cool. Oké. Okay. I would say we get on with the video. I want to show you this awesome green beauty. And yeah, let's dive in. So guys, here it is, the Baron's Green Racer. I always get so excited when I get to handle a new snake species. I've never handled this snake species in my entire life. And I'm just always so fascinated by arboreal snakes. Now, like I said, this snake is called the Baron's Green Racer. It's named after the person who described it. Um, it grows to about 180 centimeter with, you know, high exceptions of like two meters, but usually they stay until like 180 centimeters. The females are slightly bigger than the males. And what you see mostly is that they have this beautiful, beautiful green color with a dorsal stripe. I absolutely love that. Sometimes you come across blue individuals and even brown individuals, but whatever color they have, they are just perfectly camouflaged in the trees because that's where these animals live. They are strictly arboreal species. You can see that on every part of their body. Their tail is extremely long. Here is the cloaca, so this part is all tail. And they use that tail to grab on and hold on to the tree branches and balance themselves when they try to move forward or when they try to hunt. So that tail is perfectly designed for a life in the trees. Now one of the things that is just so fascinating and beautiful about this snake is the head. As you can see, it's got a very, very pointy nose. Both females and males have this pointy nose. And we were just discussing like, hey, why would the snake have this? And then Noah actually came up with the best answer, I think. And that is that when this snake moves through the leaves, its head looks exactly like a leaf. So this is also really um, yeah, made for camouflage. Another thing is that they are super slender and long, and this is another aspect that really helps them to move uh, through the trees. Um, they eat a variety of things. They will eat rodents, they will eat um, amphibians, um, small lizards, they like that as well. So they have quite a broad diet. Now, these snakes are mildly venomous. Um, they are rear fanged, which means that the fangs are all the way in the back of the mouth. So when they bite and want to envenom it, they really have to um, hold on and chew to get that venom into the system of the prey. They won't really use biting as, um, as a defense that much. What they will rather do is they will leave a very stinky substance from their cloaca onto the attacker. So that is just such a foul, foul smell. I don't know if one of you has ever experienced that being like, you know, pooped on by a snake. It does not smell good. And that's a very handy way of, you know, letting predators know, hell no, get away from me. That's basically their defense. They can bite though, and when they bite and envenomate a human, you will get local swelling, it will be painful, but you will most likely not die from that unless there's something really going on with you that's not right. But most of the time it really, really is just harmless to people other than the local swelling. Um, they are native to South um, America, uh, three countries over there. And um, yeah, like I said, they um, live in a forest, in savannah woodland, and that's just a perfect habitat for, um, for these snakes. So these snakes, they are um, active during the day. And what's very fascinating about them and what I love about certain snake species is that they are active hunters. You can see that they have huge eyes and these eyes help them to spot the prey. Obviously, like any other snake, they use the tongue to locate um, a prey item, but their eyes really help them to spot a prey, uh, to spot a prey and to, um, to hunt that prey during the day. And then during the night, they will find a nice branch to chill out on and relax for the night. I am absolutely in love with this snake. I never thought I would see it in my life because they are not really common in the pet trade. You see some people who keep them, but they are definitely not the most common species out there. And I just absolutely love this snake species. So guys, 
Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it right with your friends. Maybe leave a comment. I would love to know what you think about this beautiful snake and I will see you on the next one.